this motor suffered a self-inflicted wound. As you can see, right there. I'm not sure if everyone knows that when you're building a vehicle, not find it right away that you have some issue that the valve and pistons are kissing one another. Not until you have a performance. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, Sagitnet 2. Another episode of a B20 uh, VTEC build project. This belongs to a friend of mine. I'm just helping out. Uh, he's just really having a hard time getting this one started. But uh, once I get this thing running, somewhat running correctly, I'll give you a full detail and I'll let him... Uh, do all the talking, give you a little bit of a history on this car. But as you can see, this is a not bad looking project at all, right? <laughs> if you ask me. So back to this, a little bit of recap. The last episode that you have watched, you have seen it that I did a uh, clips up where I did the uh, compression check on the number four cylinders, which turned out to be 210 PSI which is really, really good. And that leads me to do more testing, more diagnosing. Why is it that a big difference in between those four cylinders? And also to begin with why I did a compression check, it's because of, I have found out that the, uh, the exhaust cam gears is set all the way to 10 degrees advance. I don't know why. <laughs> so that's what I started thinking. I said, man, maybe there's a possibility that uh, the valves got bent or something. But this is what today's episode. The episode is about uh, the valves. This is the second B20 uh, VTEC that I am about to build. The first one, I never did find out what's wrong with it after I have built it. Uh, it went through a dyno and everything, but I never get a chance to remove the cylinder head on that one. Now it's like turning up a page of the book and it's starting to uh, discovering a lot of things. Uh, some information that uh, I must share. I'm not sure if everyone knows, uh, especially the beginners, that when you're building a V20 uh, VTEC, there's a tendency that you might smack the piston. Yeah, this thing suffered a self-inflicted wound. Let me point it out. It's right here. This right there. That's a, a step right there. I already put some markings on there because I'm going to repair or try to repair that as much as I can because I can't put that cylinder head back in there without doing anything on the relief. As you can see, right there. See, it started to uh, make its own seat right there. And so is this one right there. Remember, the valve is in an angle. So I don't have to go through all the way right here. But we'll see how it goes. I will try to minimize not to go too far. I'm not sure how thick the, uh, the material is to the first groove first ring so I'm gonna try to minimize as much as I can I say if I uh, ground this area right here the previous marks right there the one that the uh, valve <laughs> created I'll be okay but let me get the valve and uh, you get to see it right there yeah, finally, yeah, it made its own seat right there. So that's all I need. Because it's in an angle. So far, I have found one valve that is bad. Let me show you what it looked like being in the uh, drill press. I'm 
not sure if the camera can pick it up, but see how it's wobbly it is. Let's see if I could find the material. Look right there. Let me put a, a straight valve. See the difference? What a difference. And another way of uh, checking the valve, I usually just put it on the countertops like this and give it a roll. And you can see this one is straight compared to this one. This is the bad one. See? Yeah, this one is kind of wobbly. The stem is good. This one is a bit uh, bent. Again. So this is the bad one. Let's give it a roll. You could see it right there. It's wobbly. Yeah. All right. So that's the, that is the first steps that I do whenever I check the uh, straightness of the valve and then sometimes if I'm not sure of then I will use the uh, drill press. This practice is not really uncommon. Uh, everyone have done something on their pistons, fly cutting and everything. I have done it myself when I was uh, doing some experimenting on my uh, G23 or the Stroker. So, uh, yeah, if you find yourself building a B20 VTEC and you didn't change the piston, so think about maybe doing this beforehand. But again, you are at your own risk. Just don't do too much. You can see it right there. So, let's go with it. I got all my safety equipment, got my safety goggles, everything. I'm gonna try it with this first and see if I can. Okay, steady hand is what it needs. This one is really bad. I mean, it's got a raised edge right here. Right there. I 
think I'll be needing uh, a little bit more aggressive than this one. I think that's it. No more here. This with the valve. Yeah, it should not be uh, heating anymore. I think it should be good. All good you guys see these markings <laughs> it's all brown I guess the combustion is from one cylinder to another hopefully there's no crack in there or something like that so what's left on this block I'm going to prep it and I also noticed that the uh, PC valve is not hooked up to anything I'm thinking about removing this plug and put a bar fitting on there that will help a little bit on relieving some of the pressures from the block. Anything will help because this one doesn't have one earlier. Yeah, I have noticed that the hose is broken off. No wonder it doesn't run correctly. If you find yourself building one of these B20 VTEC, just be aware that the uh, piston and the valve, there is a possibility that it will make contact just like what happened here. And lucky that only one valve is bent this one's got a, a b16 cylinder head i'm not sure if gsr will be different but then again if you have a b16 head and you are using the b20 uh, pistons possible that it may happen to you you might not find it right away not until you have some kind of a head gasket issue or some poor performance issue then you'll be scratching your head and yeah it's a good way of once you uh, remove the head just do the uh, quick inspection on your piston make sure there's no identification on it and you know what to do check your valves thank you all for uh, supporting the channel and if you like this episode make sure to hit that like button like and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next Sagit Neto signing out. This is a B20 VTEC build.